All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2019 Subaru Legacy 3.6R. Up front is a 3.6 liter flat six and down below is a CVT. Now I am super excited to be driving this here Subaru Legacy 3.6 for a couple of reasons. Mainly the fact that it has that 3.6 liter and if you have the gift of sight, you'll read the title and see that this is a tuned 3.6 liter. I've done a 3.6 liter in the past, but this is actually modified and has an aftermarket tune on it. So I'm very curious to see what this car is like, and I'm sure you are too. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, zackpradle.com, where you can buy merchandise like this retro sticker pack I have available for only $10 with free shipping. You can also submit your vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form. And you can read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. Now I will be doing a full review of this car. So if you're looking to buy just a stock version of this car, don't worry, we're not going to harp on the engine too much. But let's get back to that 3.6 liter flat six and talk about what has been done to it. Currently, this engine has attached to it Raptor headers, a nameless five inch catback muffler and exhaust system, a Dynamax high flow resonator, K&N drop in air filter and the creme de la creme XRT tune. So this was tuned remotely by Extreme Racing Tunes. Horsepower wise, it makes about 254 horsepower at the wheels. Now you might be looking at that and saying, oh, but a 3.6 Legacy makes 257 normally. That's at the crank. So through drivetrain loss, you tend to usually lose between 15 and 24% of that power through the drivetrain. So basically through the tune and headers, you're able to make up the power loss through putting it through the all wheel drive system. What does get a significant bump is the torque. Now stock, this makes 247 foot pounds of torque at the crank. But now with the tune, it's making 264 foot pounds of torque at the wheels. So you have to factor in that 15 to 24% loss as well for the torque. And that is a significant jump and that feels great. All right, I'll do a little bit of an acceleration test. We are fully warmed up here, roll into it. Not bad, not, not bad. I have to say, I really, really like the power. And the biggest thing to me is that it doesn't have any turbo lag at all because there is no turbo. You get that power from day one. And a nice thing about the 3.6 is that it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. It has those two extra cylinders to help out, which I think is really, really nice. Now the 3.6 liter had been offered from Subaru since the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. Even the SVX had a flat six. So they've done flat sixes for a long time, but here in 2019 was the last model year that Subaru offered it. Since then, they've switched over to the 2.4 liter turbo from the Subaru Ascent has now trickled down to the Subaru Legacy. And it's a fine engine, makes decent power too. That's the power option instead of the flat six, but there's just some charm about the flat six that it doesn't need any bells or whistles to get going. It doesn't need anything else to be quick. And I like that a lot. And you get that extra torque, that extra low end torque that's missing in a turbo car. Like I said, paired to it is a CVT. Now, traditionally, I'm not a big fan of the CVT. I think it feels very weird. However, the XRT tune actually fixes that. It's not only an engine tune, but it also deals with the CVT as well. At low speeds driving around town, you do still get a little bit of that CVT sort of droniness where it's not really fake shifting or doing much. But honestly, I can live with that. If it weren't for the exhaust, I really wouldn't notice at all. But like I said at the top of the video, 
This does have an aftermarket exhaust system on it. So you do hear when it's not shifting a little bit more. Last but not least about the drivetrain is the fact that of course, the Legacy is all wheel drive. It has Subaru's symmetrical all wheel drive system, which I think is fantastic. With all that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have two physical gauges and a screen. On the left, I get my tachometer and coolant temperature. On the right, I get my speedometer and fuel. The center information screen has tons of really good information. I really like it. Subaru has done this style of screen for quite some time. Even today in 2022, they still have this style and I really, really like it. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my skip track, volume, voice commands, phone options, and information. And off to the right, I have my cruise control options. This does have adaptive cruise control, which is fantastic. The steering wheel does have an aftermarket wrap on it, and I am loving it. Off to the left, I do have my trunk release, gauge dimmer switch, traction control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, and pre-collision warning buttons by my knee. And then on the door, I have two different memory seat options, power locks, power mirrors, and power windows. Moving into the center, I have two climate control vents and the infotainment system. It is a touchscreen infotainment system, Subaru Starlink. I think one of the coolest infotainment system names. And it does have a decent backup camera as well and some cool apps, which I like, but I won't harp on this for too long. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also available. Then I have my climate controls, plenty of buttons down here. I do have heated seats as well, which is very, very nice. And I do get dual zone. And something I really love is the readouts on these climate controls. I like that sort of digital look that Subaru has achieved. Then I do get this garage door to open up to my USB, aux in and 12 volt outlet. I love that it's sort of hidden away if you don't wanna look at it. And then we move down onto the center console. Off to the left, I have my shifter for that CVT. Nothing really too crazy. Subaru still uses this style. And then off to the right, I have a little cubby and cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test here in the 2019 Subaru Legacy 3.6R. And unfortunately, it does not pass the big friggin' bottle test. <laughs> Then I do get a power parking brake as well as my hill mode, kind of nice. And then I do get a center console as well. The seats are nice and comfortable. I am really enjoying them. However, the owner actually pointed out something kind of interesting to me. He had to get a rip replaced on one of the seats. It just happened to tear. And he learned that the insides of the seats, the centers of them are real leather, but the outside is actually fake leather. Kind of interesting there and something I didn't know about these seats. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 3.6 liter Subaru Legacy from 2019. And I have plenty of space back here. My knees are not hitting the seat in front of me, which is very, very nice. Down here, I do have heated seat options and two 2.1 amp USB chargers, which is fantastic. However, something I did notice is that the seats back here are pretty hard. They're not super comfortable as actual seats, but that's okay. I'm not spending too much time back here. If you have kids or whatever, they're not gonna care. So I can't really hate on it too much for that. The actual space back here, my head's coming close to the ceiling. I'm 5'11", so eh, but, Overall, I'm really, really happy with the space back here. Let's go take a quick look at the trunk and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the 3.6 Legacy. A little button on the key fob for the trunk. There we go. And then you can just pull it up from here. And we have a very regular Subaru trunk. Pretty sizable, it is a decent sized sedan, so nothing too crazy here. However, it is pretty good and get this nice legacy trunk mat as well. Pretty standard here, but very, very good for a vehicle in this segment. Now we got to talk about the looks. And like I said, these are aftermarket wheels as well. And that does help with the performance because they are 70 pounds less than the stock wheels altogether. Weight savings is key. However, I also like the fact that this is a 3.6 liter legacy in blue. It's not in black. It's not in white. It's blue. 
I feel like I rarely see Subaru Legacies in blue this day and age, and I really, really like the fact that this is just something different and such a good color at that. But now let's get to my final thoughts here on the 2019 Subaru Legacy 3.6R that has been tuned by XRT. Well, I think that this is a really, really good tune to do. First of all, I didn't even know that anyone really modified the 3.6 liter. That's news to me. And now having driven one, I can confidently say a couple of things. First off, tuning your 3.6 liter will not make it into a Bugatti. You're not gonna be up there running with Lamborghini Huracans and Audi R8s. That's not the point of this tune. What it does do, however, is wake the engine up. It gives you that power back that was previously lost due to its mechanical drivetrain. And it makes this car a really, really good daily driver. The owner, Jonathan, drives a lot. 46,000 miles since 2019, that's not easy. And so he tuned this to make it a little bit more fun a little bit more entertaining, a little bit spicier, if you will. And it he's definitely achieved that with this. It feels as though the 3.6 liter has almost been freed, if that makes sense. Given a little bit more breathing room. It's like getting upgraded from economy to first class. Yeah, you're still on the same airplane, but you can move your feet a little and you get a little bit nicer service. That's the difference between the stock 3.6 and a tuned one. And I have to say, if you have a 3.6 liter Subaru, whether that be the Legacy or the Outback, I would highly, highly recommend looking into some type of tune. All said and done, it's not that expensive, and it can breathe new life into a car that you've loved for so long. And to me, that is worth it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Jonathan for letting me take out his 3.6 liter Subaru. This was really eye-opening, like I keep saying. I didn't know that people really modified these 3.6 liters, and now having driven one, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised. But this whole experience was thank you to Jonathan. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.